Oh my gosh, look at this lighting. This is with no lights. This is just my window. My window is doing this. Okay, cool. I'm just really excited for the low budge lighting. Hi, I'm Nikki Limo and you're watching Ask Limo because you, it's a very serious show and you are a serious person and looking for some serious answers. Came to the right place. Welcome! Ask Limo, for those of you who don't know, is the only Q&A show on the internet. It's where I take your questions that you asked me and I answer them. Let's go! What's the most profound realization you've ever come to about in life? Did anything provoke it? Nobody knows what they're doing. I know you've probably heard that before, but like, for real. Like, for real, nobody knows what they're doing. The more you can bullshit that you know what you're doing, the more success you'll have. You can also break the rules at any time. I mean, you can't break all the rules, like, don't murder, but like, it's Wednesday right now, in the middle of the day, and I could just go to Africa. I could just go to Africa right now. Like, right now, if I wanted to, I could go to the airport, be like, Af one Africa, please, and then they would put, be like, yes, ma'am. If you're like, I wanna be the boss of my own company, you could just start a company right now. You could, you could do that. You could do anything. When you're a little kid and they're like, you can do anything you want, it's true, you can. But most people stop believing that they can, and so then they can't. Hey, dummy, stop doing that. Can you plug my fix tape? Nope. What have you discovered is the weirdest part of being married that no one told you about beforehand? I guess the weirdest part for me is that everyone said the sex would get bad and it got better. From what I've heard, that is not the norm. So I guess that that is weird. It's like weird in a good way. <laughs> But I guess it's still weird. Can you please promote my campaign? My friends and I started to get a portable dental x-ray machine to, 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 to take, I don't know, the status is too long. But yeah, go do that. It sounds like she's doing some good in the world. I'm for it. I'll leave a link in the description. Now that you're a homeowner, what is some of the shit they never told you? Dryers. Uh, don't always dry your clothes and then you're responsible for replacing that dryer and microwaves don't work sometimes and sometimes it's Outlets don't work and then you have to somehow get that fixed things that normally Weren't your problem are not your problem. I don't want any problems. I just wanted to own a house I just didn't want to give my money to the man anymore But I guess I still am giving money to the man because now I have property taxes as if they weren't taxing me out my asshole Already, where is it going? We don't know. They should give us an itemized receipt of where our taxes are going because I would rather just give the money to where I want it to go. Like a school, like teachers, like the roads. It doesn't seem to be going there. I have said this for a long time and then Cardi B just recently like said everything that I've been saying forever and if you haven't seen that video yet, you should go watch it because that's exactly how I feel about taxes. What was the question again? Can you look at your JK Films Gmail account? The fuck? What? No, what? What is that? Sometimes I should pick out these questions before answering them. What are you most excited for about your new house? Decorating, oh my god. I have never been this much of a Pinterest queen in my life. Because now I own the walls, I can do so many things. And I can't wait to do all of the things. I wanna do all of the things now, like yesterday. But like budget and like time sucks. I'm gonna start doing DIY slash DI try videos soon. You just wait. My kingdom to have a place to finally decorate. I follow so many home decor brands. I don't know, what do you call them? What's Pottery Barn? Is it a home decor brand? I don't know what it is, but I follow it. I follow the shit out of it. If you do home renovation, I'm following you. I'm talking to you, Mr. Kate. I'm talking to you, Sorry Girls. I'm talking to you, Chippa Joanna Gaines. I'm watching you all the time. That is the only media I consume right now. <sighs> anyway, what was the question? How do I not die alone? Please help, I'm very lonely. Oh my goodness. You will die alone. We all die alone. You're gonna die very alone. I'm just kidding, that's <laughs> so me. Current opinion about YouTube. We used to have such a good time. What is one thing you miss about your old place? I guess the neighborhood. But I kind of like our neighborhood. Our neighborhood's beautiful. Like, like, look at this. That's my view. 
I mean, you can't, it's kind of blown out. You can't see it very well, but like, it's such a cute neighborhood. I made it look like shit in the video where we were condo hunting because I thought it was funny. I picked like the worst part of this area and <laughs> I built it. And everyone's like, you moved to the ghetto. I'm like, yeah, don't rob me. It's cute here, I like it. I don't miss anything about the old place at all. What was the last photo you've taken? This one. How do you feel about Nicki Minaj and Eminem dating? Hate it. It's the wrong Nicki. What's your favorite memory from your first year of being married? Probably sliding down a waterfall in Bali. <laughs> Or watching our movie play at Slam Dance, or buying a house. Wow, it was a really good first year. Hard to top. A long time ago on JK, you mentioned your outfits are predetermined by the calendar. Do you think you could do a video as to how it works? I've been immensely curious. Yeah, I mean, it's super casual, super easy, no big deal. A couple years ago on JK, I did mention that I pick out the color of clothing that I wear every day based on the date. Ever since then, I've gotten so many messages asking me to explain this, and I th well, let's just go over it really quick. It's super easy, super casual. Back in 2010, I read a book by Louise Hay called Colors and Numbers. You can order it probably on Amazon. I don't know, I'll try to link it in the description. It changed me, it changed me. Basically, it's a, a book about numerology, which I am not an expert in at all. I just know that it's based off numerology, okay? Here's what you do. You take your birthday, just the month and the day, and you add up the numbers. So I'm November 2nd, that's 1102, that's one plus one plus two, that's four. Then you take the year that it is right now, 2018, that's two plus zero plus one plus eight, and you add those numbers up. That's a two, a two year. Then you add your personal number to the year, universal number and you get six. Well, I get six. My personal number is six. Every number one through nine has a color attached to it. One is red, two is orange, or if you make it into a, a number 11 master number, you know, the master numbers, it's a black and white or gray, silver. Three is yellow, four is green, five is blue, six is navy blue or indigo, seven is purple, eight is pink, and nine is pastels. So my personal year is a six year, which is indigo. From there, you break it down into the month. Right now it's May, which is the fifth month of the year. So five plus my personal year number, which is a six. One plus one equals two. Two is orange. Just easy casual things here where nothing's complicated about this at all. Just a, just a few calculations and you're good to go. After that, we break it down into the days, which today, the day that I'm filming this, is the 30th. So we're gonna add 30 to the month number, which is two, that's 32. Three plus two is five. The number five is blue. Also, each color has a meaning. Red means new beginnings. Orange means cooperation, just going with the flow. Yellow means party. Uh, green means responsibility. Blue is positive change. Six is adjustments. Seven is transformation, eight is success, and nine is letting go. Hi, I'm Nikki, I'm a psychopath. In all seriousness, I do think about this every day when I get dressed, but I'm not like superstitious about it or anything like that. It's just that after doing it so long, I just know what day it is. Like if yesterday was green, then today is blue, and tomorrow is gonna be navy, and it doesn't ever change unless the month changes. June would be a three month for me, and the first is a one, so that's a four day, which is green, I would be wearing green again. That's the only time you have to rethink about that if you even want to, and I just can't help it. It's been eight years of doing it that way, <laughs> and so it's just a habit now. And yeah, I've definitely not worn the correct color on a day. It didn't mess with my life. I don't have a psychological issue. It's just a fun thing that I started to do. And when I was talking about earlier about distracting my depression so that I could get through normal days, this is one of the things that really helped me because a lot of times I didn't want to get out of bed. But if it was like, oh, we got to pick a co the color for the day, there was like a simple activity that would get me out of bed. And then when I'm wearing that color, I can't help but think of the freaking meaning that happens behind it. I don't even believe in the meanings behind it. But you know, it's fun to think about, to think about when I'm wearing blue, that like, oh, I should make some positive changes today. Yesterday when it was green, responsibility, I was like, I should pay my bills and go to the bank and run errands. I don't know, it's a, I'm really defensive about this because I feel vulnerable. It's not something that I broadcast, but yeah, there you go. Um, uh, that's how I became a serial killer. I mean, that was that's how I pick out my clothes. Up next, we'll talk about my crystal collection. That's all I have for Ask Limo today. I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a long time. This is the first Ask Limo in this 
place. And I didn't even need lighting and I'm so impressed by that. I'm still impressed by that. Window, I am so impressed by you. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Turn on your notifications. Get ready for some DIYs, cause that's gonna happen. I'll see you next time, bye!